Hi, this is Dow Too Fast here. In today's video, I will show you this inexpensive OBD2 scan tool. I got this one from GearBest.com, and I saw this on their website a couple of months back. It retails for $36.99. It appears to have all the main features you need on a scan tool. So for example, it can read trouble code, erase trouble code, view live data, display DTC definition. It also has a quick access IM button to check the readiness of the emission components on your vehicle. Now the brand name on this tool is called House Tech, and the model number is KW680. Let me open this up and I'll show you what the scan tool looks like. Here's the scan tool itself. USB cable. Carrying case. User manual. Here's a look at everything you get with this tool. Looking at the front of the unit, at the top there's a 2.5 inch color LCD display. Below the display there are three LEDs to show you the status of the trouble lights. In the middle we have the IM readiness button. Here we have the up select, down select, escape key, enter key. Here's a look at the back. At the top of the unit is a data cable that goes to the OBD connector. This cable is four and a half feet long, so it has plenty of length for you to plug this into the vehicle and you can hold this while you're outside the vehicle or sitting down in the front seat. Let's power this on and take a look at the user interface. Here's a look at the home page. First item is diagnostic. When we connect this to a vehicle, we can go into it and take a look. Next item is DTC lookup. With the DTC lookup, you just put in the trouble code and it'll give you a definition. Review, you can review the store data. Tool setup. You can change the unit of measure. Turn the beep on and off. Device self-test will allow you to test the LCD display and also test the buttons at the bottom here. Print data. If you connect this to a computer, you can print the data. Help. Here will give you information about OBD and data stream. So for example, what is OBD? OBD modes, vehicle coverage. About data stream, same thing. You can read more information about this. Last item is battery check, so it'll show you the battery voltage when you hook this up to the vehicle. Let's take this to the car and we'll check out the diagnostic function. Plug the scanner into the OBD port. As you can see with the long cable, it makes it very convenient to use this outside the vehicle or inside the vehicle. Once you plug in the data cable, the unit will turn on. Let's go and start the car up. We'll go into diagnostic, press the enter key. As you can see, the mill status or the trouble light is off. DTCs in the ECU is zero. Data stream supported is 39. Ignition is spark. In the diagnostic menu, you can read codes. Check for current codes. As you can see, this vehicle has no fault codes. Let's go back. Now, if you have any trouble codes, you can use the erase codes menu here to erase a code. IM readiness will check the readiness of your emission components on your vehicle. Here's a list of all the emission components. It'll tell you whether it's ready or not. Press escape to exit. Data stream. You can view all items. So on this screen, you can scroll down. It'll give you live data on the right side here. For example, engine coolant temperature, 185 degrees Fahrenheit. When you're done, press escape. If you want, you select specific items. So here you can check off each item you want to look at. Press enter. When you're done, press escape. And here it will show you the PID that you selected. Escape to exit. You can view graphic items. Again, we'll use the engine coolant temperature as an example. So right now it's graphing the data from that PID. To exit, press escape. Next one down is record all. You can record the data stream. 
Right now it's recording the data. When you're done, press escape. Last item, record select. If you want to record specific items, to exit this menu, press escape. Vehicle confirmation. Here it will show you the VIN number of the vehicle. Now this can be useful if you're buying a used car and you want to verify to make sure the VIN number matches what's on the dash. Let me show you DTC lookup. So for example, we can enter P0340. Hit enter. And this is a camshaft position sensor A circuit bank one or single sensor error. So basically this is a lookup library you can use. When you're done, press escape. Let's go to review. If you have any recorded data, go down to review data stream, live data record. Here you can scroll down to see all the recorded data. Escape to exit. Let's go down to battery check now. Hit enter. That tells you the voltage of the battery is 13.8 volt. And when you're done, press escape. Once you're done using the tool, go ahead and turn off the engine. And then you can disconnect the data cable and the unit will turn off. As you can see, this house tech OBD2 scan tool works very well. It has all the basic features you need to do diagnosis on your vehicle. If your vehicle has a check engine light, this tool can read the code, erase the codes, and if you want to find out what that trouble code means, you can use a built-in DTC lookup library to see a definition. A tool like this will work on any vehicles built after 1996 in North America. Overall, it's a very nice design, it's very compact, has a long data cable, and it comes with a nice clear LCD display. Now at the time of doing this review, you can get this on GearBest.com for $36, which is a very good price. If you want to check it out, I will include the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy watching this video, and don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.